Yo, it's your boy Young Moody now. Check this shit out, gang. Outside the Qatari Bass Club just announced on Twitter the outside administration has agreed on Xavi's move to Barcelona after the payment of the release clause stipulated in the contract. We have agreed on cooperation with Barcelona in the future. Xavi is an important part of outside history and we wish him success. And then they continued. Xavi informed us a few days ago of his desire to go to Barcelona at this particular time because of the critical stage his hometown club is going through. We understand they're broke as fuck and we decided not to stand on his mission to save Barcelona. Xavi and his family will always remain welcome in Doha and our relationship will continue. Now gang, Xavi is a new Barcelona coach. Xavi Ball is coming to Camp Nou. Barca going back to their DNA. Pedro and Fati, the Masia Academy graduates just signed new long-term contracts. Gang, 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 Barcelona is back. Now family, that's what the Barcelona fans are screaming after hearing that Xavi is coming home. And I don't even want to search. Let's be real, man. If we're being real at the moment, Barcelona are fucked and find themselves in huge amounts of debts. That's why they're still twerking naked in the Super League. Now, having said that though, little is known about Xavi as a coach because he's just been a manager for a couple of years. Now, the thing is, you already know, just because a motherfucker was a great player doesn't mean he's gonna be a great manager. Those are completely different things. They are completely different roles in football. Now, anyways, Xavi has been a coach of uh, Al Sadd who played the Qatari Stars League and currently they are first place by the way in that league with 8 wins from 9 games. And in May 2019, Xavi, after retiring, he took over Al Sadd as full-time manager, if y'all didn't know. In his first year, he helped them reach the AFC Champions League semi-final, which is the Arab Champions League, y'all can say. And anyways, the following year, he won the domestic treble and he got eliminated from the Arab Champions League in the last 16. Now, there's no doubt this appointment was made based on Xavi's track record as a player and not based on his reputation as a manager, you feel me? And... This appointment was made based on the hope that he will be the next Pep Guardiola. Because if y'all remember, Pep Guardiola just was the coach of the Barcelona B team before he took of the, of the senior team and he did all the madness, you feel me? Now, Xavi has showed a lot of potential because outside play a certain football style and the rumors in the streets is he has improved a lot of the players, you feel me? But over the years, y'all, if there's anything that history has taught us, is the fact that Pep Guardiola is an exception to the rule, not the motherfucking rule. We saw what happened to Pirlo in Juventus. We saw what happened to Maradona in Argentina. We are seeing what's happening in the sad green picture of Ule and Manchester United right now in front of our eyes. And we even saw with Kuman and Barcelona. When a former player gets hired based on he knows the club, based on he got that DNA, based on he is a legend, all that bullshit these journals talk about, etc, etc. Y'all know how that shit goes, man. Zidane is, a, is another exception as well, but other than that, man, yeah, I know there's hella bummy ex-players out there. Mandem like Thierry Henry, Tony Adams, Gary Neville, Paul Scholes, they all try to be managers in different time of their careers, but so far, man, so far it's been dry as a motherfucker. But you never know in football how she might turn out. Pep Guardiola said the other day, and I quote, I have no doubt that Xavi is prepared to coach Barcelona. He understands football, knows the club surroundings, which is very important for Barca and already has more experience than I had when I trained there. So you never know, y'all, man. Maybe Pep Guardiola is right. Maybe he finna be a second one in a million type of shit. But what y'all think, gang? Do y'all think Xavi is the right appointment for Barcelona at this, at this moment in time? Because let's not forget, this is a risky move for Xavi as well. Because if his reputation gets tarnished in this job, he's done. Other teams won't be able to give him that opportunity, you feel me? And right now the job at Barcelona is massive. So do y'all think he's gonna be successful? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. It's your boy Young Wooly. Y'all know the drill. Like and subscribe. It's lit.